So why doesn't the mind work? Well, it's sometimes because we have opposing subconscious beliefs, right? I want to, yes, but I'm not worthy. Uh, sometimes we worry and worrying about things that might never happen increases their chance of happening. Why? Because we're giving them life. We're adding to that structure. I think oftentimes we're not aware of the power of our intention, whether we're saying, I don't like this or I want this. Either way, um, we're giving it our attention. So and it's natural to give something we don't want our intention, right? Because we we're giving it our intention, we're giving it our attention, we're giving it our attention, we're kind of calling it more into our life. I attract to my life whatever I give my attention, energy, and focus to, whether positive or negative. I feel like if we really understood that, our life would totally change. It's like, oh, why am I thinking about that? <laughs> If you realized how powerful your thoughts are, you would never think a negative thought. I always love this image of the iceberg because it's awesome. Like this is all that's seen and this is unseen. We, we know this. We think about it a lot. But really, when you look at it, isn't that amazing? In our conscious mind, we're like, I want love. I want success. I want health. I want a good life. I'm going to do this. But under the surface, there's these powerful programs. They're also like a program on a computer that says, it's not safe. You're not good enough. That will never happen. So we have this tug of war. And that's a lot of what this energy work is about. It's about getting us into alignment. So what is a belief? The process today is clearing those unhelpful beliefs. It is simply a thought that you keep thinking over and over and over. It's a well-worn path. So someone said it's like you have a sledding slope or a ski slope and there's fresh fallen snow, then you can just choose any path you want. But a belief is something that you just do over and over and over again, which is helpful because it means you can change it. It, it really is just a well-worn traveled path. So the conscious mind, I, I love this metaphor too. It, it's kind of like the captain of the ship. It says, we will go here. It's not as powerful, but it's the director. And the subconscious is like all the staff. It's like the cooking crew and the cleaning crew. There's lots of crew compared to the captain. But the staff already has all these commands that they're doing. And it doesn't work for the captain to go down and do the laundry. And that's what happens when we say, I want to go on a diet. And so then we get our conscious mind involved and we try to change things. <laughs> it's not going to work that well because we need to change the subconscious mind. Okay, blue screen technique. First of all, they, they didn't really talk about this, but blue Every color is amazing and powerful. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to include something about blue. <laughs> so isn't this cool that she, she made this? I just made a blue screen and she made the flame. So the cosmic blue flame, even the blue flame in our world is very powerful, right? It's like a blowtorch. So blue has power, purity, protection, liberty. It's very strong. Like you think of Archangel Michael's cosmic blue. It's like when you want to cut something away, you think of cos this cosmic blue flame. And in pranic healing, um, they're very, very, very careful about using the colors and you um, you use the colors carefully because they all have different qualities. So, for example, like red increases something. So you wouldn't use red light if you had um, a cancer, right? It would make it grow. But blue is like cooling, stabilizing. It's astringent. And when I was reading about color for the blessing course, um, Dr. Edwin Babbitt states that the blue ray is one of the greatest antiseptics in the world. So if you need a little healing for other things and it comes to you, try blue. To actually find a negative belief that's in there, 
gets to be so exciting because we don't even know a lot of times what is like why we don't feel better. And and it's almost like you have to take something out in order to make room for what we want. So when they show up, we can actually be a little bit thankful, even though they're not fun. Oh, this is never going to work. Oh my gosh, did I just say this is never going to work? Do I have this belief that it's never going to work? And if you get a friend to help you see your beliefs, it sometimes is very challenging. It, um, even for me, sometimes it's very challenging to hear uh, the truth sometimes of what we say. So now you can find a negative belief and practice changing it. 